in mechanics and geometry, the 3D rotation group, often denoted SO3, is the group of all rotations about the origin of three-dimensional Euclidean space of 3 under the operation of composition. By definition, a rotation about the origin is a transformation that preserves the origin, Euclidean distance, and orientation. Every non-trivial rotation is determined by its axis of rotation and its angle of rotation. Composing two rotations results in another rotation. Every rotation has a unique inverse rotation. And the identity map satisfies the definition of a rotation. Owing to the above properties, the set of all rotations is a group under composition. Moreover, the rotation group has a natural structure as a manifold for which the group operations are smooth. So it is in fact a Lie group. It is compact and has dimension 3. Rotations are linear transformations of R3 and can therefore be represented by matrices once a basis of R3 has been chosen. Specifically, if we choose an orthonormal basis of R3, every rotation is described by an orthogonal 3x3 matrix with determinant 1. The group SO3 can therefore be identified with a group of these matrices under matrix multiplication. These matrices are known as special orthogonal matrices, explaining the notation SO3. The group SO3 is used to describe the possible rotational symmetries of an object, as well as the possible orientations of an object in space. Its representations are important in physics, where they give rise to the elementary particles of integer spin. Length and angle, besides just preserving length, rotations also preserve the angles between vectors. This follows from the fact that the standard dot product between two vectors u and v can be written purely in terms of length. It follows that any length preserving transformation in a 3 preserves the dot product, and thus the angle between vectors. Rotations are often defined as linear transformations that preserve the inner product on a 3 which is equivalent to requiring them to preserve length. See classical group for a treatment of this more general approach, where SO3 appears as a special case. Orthogonal and rotation matrices. Every rotation maps an orthonormal basis of R3 to another orthonormal basis. Like any linear transformation of finite dimensional vector spaces, a rotation can always be represented by a matrix. Let R be a given rotation. With respect to the standard basis E1, a Euro E2, a Euro E3 of R3 the columns of R are given by. Since the standard basis is orthonormal, and since R preserves angles and length, the columns of R form another orthonormal basis. This orthonormality condition can be expressed in the form. Where a T denotes the transpose of R and I is the 3 a Euro A, A3 Euro's identity matrix. Matrices for which this property holds are called orthogonal matrices. The group of all three are Euro A, A3 Euro's orthogonal matrices is denoted O3, and consists of all proper and improper rotations. In addition to preserving length, proper rotations must also preserve orientation. A matrix will preserve or reverse orientation according to whether the determinant of the matrix is positive or negative. For an orthogonal matrix R, Note that det R T equals det R implies 2 equals 1, so that det R equals A plus or minus 1. The subgroup of orthogonal matrices with determinant plus 1 is called the special orthogonal group, denoted SO3. Thus every rotation can be represented uniquely by an orthogonal matrix with unit determinant. Moreover, since composition of rotations corresponds to matrix multiplication, the rotation group is isomorphic to the special orthogonal group SO3. Improper rotations correspond to orthogonal matrices with determinant A1, and they do not form a group because the product of two improper rotations is a proper rotation. Group structure, the rotation group is a group under function composition. It is a subgroup of the general linear group consisting of all invertible linear transformations of the real 3 space A3. Furthermore, the rotation group is known abelian. That is, the order in which rotations are composed makes a difference. For example, 
a quarter turn around the positive x-axis followed by a quarter turn around the positive y-axis is a different rotation than the one obtained by first rotating around y and then x. The orthogonal group, consisting of all proper and improper rotations, is generated by reflections. Every proper rotation is the composition of two reflections, a special case of the Cartana Euro Diodona copyright theorem. Axis of rotation. Every non-trivial proper rotation in three dimensions fixes a unique one-dimensional linear subspace of R3 which is called the axis of rotation. Each such rotation acts as an ordinary two-dimensional rotation in the plane orthogonal to this axis. Since every two-dimensional rotation can be represented by an angle I, an arbitrary three-dimensional rotation can be specified by an axis of rotation together with an angle of rotation about this axis, for example, counterclockwise rotation about the positive z-axis by angle I is given by. Given a unit vector n in a 3 and an angle I, let R, I, a euro n, represent a counterclockwise rotation about the axis through n. Then, R, 0, a euro n, is the identity transformation for any n, R, I, a euro n, equals R, A I, a euro a n, R, a euro a euro plus a euro I, a euro n, equals R, a euro a euro a a euro I, a euro a n. Using these properties one can show that any rotation can be represented by a unique angle I in the range 0 a per mil currency I a per mil currency I euro and a unit vector n such that, n is arbitrary if I equals 0, n is unique if 0, 